What's good YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Island Vibe. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing all right. Can't complain today. <laughs> we're, oh God, I always bite my tongue. Oh. Um, today we're here with a re another reaction video. Today's reaction video is going to be how China cloned Shanghai. Shanghai? Where is Shanghai? Shanghai. I don't know where Shanghai. At first, I thought I said Singapore. I'm gonna lie to y'all when I first saw because I really wanted to go um, to Singapore. Listen, Singapore is one of my dream destinations. Singapore and China, they have both of them. But Singapore, I really want to go to Singapore. That's like Singapore and Saudi Arabia. Saudi, 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 you know? Saudi, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia. I want to go to different places, you know? But yeah, if you guys need to channel, smash the like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff down below in the comment section. And if you want me to react to let me know, I'll try my best to react to it, alright? But I still want to go to China even with the coronavirus. I still want to go. I don't change my mind. I know. China is just so rich in culture. You know what I mean? You gotta go. This technology firm in Beijing has created a complete virtual clone of China's largest city. Covering almost 4,000 square kilometers. And mm. from Shanghai is in China. I remember now. Focus. Satellites, drones, and sensors in the real Shanghai. The digital replica could soon have the power to simulate events in the city's future with astonishing accuracy. Powered by Unreal Engine's photorealistic graphics, covering thousands of buildings and with the potential to impact millions of people, this is how China cloned Shanghai. Oh. The extreme rise of technology over recent decades is now having a major impact on how we shape our cities. Faced with several challenges, from the huge growth of urban populations to climate change and pandemics, these centers are now using connected digital information to improve services, plan development, and optimize buildings. But digital twins take things to a different level. These ah. models are precise virtual representations of physical assets that are kept continuously up to date and could cover anything from one small element of a building to an entire city. That's what Beijing-based developer 51 World is planning to do with Shanghai. Powered by Unreal Engine, the team has created a complete virtual model of China's largest city that covers an area of more than 3,750 square kilometers. Though the level of detail varies across the model, more than 20 landmark structures, including the Oriental Pearl and Shanghai Tower, were created individually. Countless other buildings, roads, waterways, and green spaces were then made using an algorithm that converts data from a geographic information system into 3D information. 51 World's intention is to turn this model into a digital twin, a virtual reflection of the live city that is continuously updated in near real time as it gathers data from geographic information sensors, satellites, drones, and other sources. It could allow its user to control a building's systems, monitor traffic flow, or show citizens how a planned new project might appear. With digital twins, designers can simulate ideas in the live city environment before they are constructed, and wow. the impact of decisions from where to position a bus stop to how large a new housing development should be can be understood in advance. 51 World's models of other cities are already being used to create digital twins. Perhaps its best example yet is in Singapore, where one has been built for a developer and the local government. Integrating information on buildings, transport, parks, drainage and more, it allows city operators to monitor traffic, building operations, bridge maintenance, and to simulate floods. 51 World has also implemented several intelligent transportation projects across China, offering solutions for 3D real-time monitoring and micro-traffic flow simulation. To optimize the efficiency of real-time rendering in the Shanghai model as a user moves across the cityscape, the entire simulation is divided up into two square kilometer segments. Closer objects appear in finer detail, <coughs> showing accurate environmental reflections, soft shadows on surfaces, and lifelike shading effects in accordance with the weather. To achieve these graphics, 
51 Wild turned into Unreal Engine, one of the industry's leading platforms for creating photorealistic visuals and immersive experiences. That's a lot of technology. As well as cutting edge rendering capabilities, Unreal Engine. And you know what's the crazy part? You ask me what the hell went on, I can't tell you, but all I know it looked pretty. Gave 51 Wild a real time lighting system that simulates the sun, photorealistic models of the city's landmarks, and the ability to quickly find errors. Digital twins in the hands of a private company or a oh. national government instantly raises questions about rights, ethics, and ownership. All of the data used in systems like this is anonymized, and facts about specific individuals and their movements aren't tracked. It's more for looking at broader, trend-level information. Notwithstanding that, the exciting advantages these digital twins bring come entwined with challenging questions for our societies. Though the Shanghai model is undoubtedly one of the most advanced we've seen, several other cities are now exploring the idea of virtual clones, albeit by creating advanced 3D models rather than true digital twins. In Finland, VR studio Zoan used Unreal Engine to create a virtual Helsinki, a digital replica Ooh. of the capital. This Helsinki! From 360 degree virtual real estate tours to the oh. city at international exhibitions. And in New Zealand, Build Media and the city's council used Unreal Engine to develop an accurate model of Wellington. They now plan to integrate live data to create a true digital twin. Though any SimCity or Minecraft fan will tell you that building city simulations with a gaming engine has been possible for decades, this technology is now on course to transform our real world urban landscape. What's more, digital twins are still in their infancy and their potential is enormous. Okay, from what I've picked up so far, Digital Twin is like a, it's like a master plan for each country, but digital, I guess, is more, is way more complex. Like, it could tell you how much, uh, how, how, like, say for example, a piece of lot or property, what should go here, how big it should be, how much people should live in this, one specific complex, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Um, I guess that's what it is. That's what I'm picking up from far. It can also pre predict, like, like they say, I mean, floodings. I don't know if they could predict earthquakes. That'd be pretty cool if they could predict earthquakes. With future models expected to be capable of autonomous decision making, it seems that the age of the truly smart city has only just begun. 51 World's model of Shanghai was brought to life with Unreal Engine. To see what else is possible with one of the world's most powerful visualization tools, click the link below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, subscribe to the B1 app. Okay. Yeah, so that's why I've picked up from it, everything, you know. Now you know it's basically like engineering architect architectural work. What if I'm gonna say if, if I'm incorrect, let me know in the comment section down below. And explain it to me what's going on. Maybe I don't understand it. Maybe you understand it better. But yeah, that's why I feel like it is, you know? Mm, okay. No, it's like, I figure, I figure. But yeah, that's Shanghai. They cloned Shanghai. Ah. Oh, this world, man. 21st century? Sorry, guys. Ooh. I'm a little tired. That's why my energy level is a little down, you know? You know, your boy don't normally be this low. You know? It's just a little tired. A little tired, but don't worry. When we come back, it's gonna be better energy. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff down below in the comment section below. If you want me to react to anything specific, let me know and I'll try my best to react to it as soon as possible. With that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day. And until we meet again, remember the world is yours. Peace.